Welcome to the QLNs log. In this REST API testing series, today we are going to see how to set up automation for automating REST API. We are just going to see setup part so that you can get started with the setup anytime. The code written for this automation is not going to be with the best practices. We will have separate block for writing better code in REST API automation. So to test this application and to demonstrate this, I have created a sample application called as a to-do server. You can see my Postman screen. On this Postman screen, I am calling a localhost endpoint on 8080 port with the part to-do to which I am passing title as bring milk. This is the body which I am passing to this API. When I call this API, I got something in the response. I got same title, bring milk. I got some ID and I got 200 OK. So what this API is doing at behind is it is creating this to do. It is assigning it a ID and it is providing me the same resource that it has created in the response. Now, when we are testing this endpoint manually, what we are generally doing is we are passing it different, different titles. Let's say bring vegetables. Bring vegetables. And when I call this endpoint, I will be verifying whether I got same title bring vegetables or not, whether I got ID as non null value and whether the status of this endpoint is 200 OK or not. For the simplicity, I have kept the status 200 OK, but generally for create request, you will get a status as 201 OK. So this is what we generally do while testing the REST APIs. We test response body elements, statuses and all of these things. <coughs> but how to do it with the automation? Let's see that the tools which we are going to use for automating this testing are simple. We are going to use integrated development environment or we call it IDE as IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. We are going to use Java as a programming language. We are going to use the REST Assured Framework for automation. We are going to use Test NG Framework for test management. I'm going to show you how to set up all these from the crash scratch with this demonstration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open IntelliJ IDEA. When you open IntelliJ IDEA, you will see there are multiple options. I'll select new project as an option. In new project, there are multiple options like new project, empty project, my one archetypes or something like that. We are going to use new project option. We are going to use language as Java, build system as a Maven. I will demonstrate build system Gradle in upcoming logs as well. So we are going to use build system as Maven. In JDK, you'll need to select this Java which you have installed on your machine. So for example, I use Java 16. I'm going to name this application as to do Tests. In advanced setting, you will see group ID as well as artifact ID. Right now, we are not more concerned about this, but it's good to set these values as well. For the sake of simplicity, I will set this com dot QA lens dot to do, and I will create this project. Now you can see once we create this project, IntelliJ by default creates few things for you. It has created main and test folder. It has created pom.xml. What all these things do, I am going to explain. So pom.xml is your definition file for build management. We are using Maven here for build as a build management tool. And that build management tool understand whatever build dependencies or whatever build related things which we want to define we are going to define it in pom.xml file generally inside main your main code or reusable code or application code resides all our test code is going to reside inside a test 
folder inside test folder you will see java folder i am going to create a new package over here you can see in pom.xml file we haven't yet added any dependencies so first thing for us to do is we need to add these dependencies how do we add these dependencies it's simple we go search on internet what dependencies we need we generally need to know in advance so for us we will need test ng right so what i'm going to do is test ng maven so there is a maven uh, repository artifact site over here i'm going to use latest version of test ng and i'm going to select maven as a tab it says i need to add these things to my maven pom.xml file so that these dependencies are available So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dependencies node inside this pom.xml and I'm going to add this dependency. <coughs> we will also need rest assured so let's search for rest assured. So this is the rest assured dependency. I am going to copy this dependency as well. That's it. For now we will be adding these two dependencies rest assured and test ng. Now what I will need to do is I will need to sync my maven project so that these dependencies are copied now because my system had already these dependencies downloaded on my system it took less time but generally it will take more time for you now what i am going to do is i am going to create new java class and i will name this class as create to do tests You can see the file create to do test was added into this and to test these things whether the test framework is working fine or not I am going to add a simple test I will write public void create to do I will name this test as creation of to do should work. Now so far we haven't marked this as a test. What we will need to do is we will need to mark this as a test with a test ng annotation add, add test. You can see there is test ng annotation add test. And to test whether our dependencies are working fine or not or, or all the setup is working fine or not. I am going to simply print out something. and I'm going to run this you can see there are markers created for running this test I'm going to run this test you can see this test ran fine it printed working and it means that our setup for rest assured as well as test ng is working fine now we are going to add a simple test the same to do test that we added so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a given statement for this given statement what I have as a base URI is HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8088 Then our content type is content type dot json. Then our body is 
for the sake of simplicity let's just hard code the body so this is our body which we are going to pass now when when i am hitting an endpoint post endpoint i'll need to provide uri of a post endpoint this is to do i want to verify then whether my body has title bring milk we want to check the title which is equally matching so we will need to use matchers dot equal to we also want to check whether the status code is 200 or not and we also want to check whether the body has id which is non null so what i am going to do is matchers not null value so this is basic test that we were doing manually we have automated now let's just run this test yeah and it pass so that's how you see how much it is simple to set up a basic rest assured framework with maven java on your system hope that helps we'll see more in the rest api testing blogs about best practices what to do with rest api automation how to test rest api automation in upcoming blogs stay tuned